Hi everyone, it's me, your girl Katie, and we are back with another unplugged book box unboxing. <clears throat> now, I did already open this one. Usually I try to wait until um, I start filming to open it, but this one, they had sent out a thing that so they didn't have um, as much protection in it because it was so full of stuff and I know there were breakables in it so I wanted to make sure nothing was broken when I did open it I did find one thing that had a little damage to it but it wasn't the thing that I was like really worried about anyway so January's theme was lower the volume um first box unplugged book box of 2020 so here we go let's get into it all right here is the playlist interesting okay and then on back on the back is the photo challenge looks like they have individual prizes this time. I think the last time for the photo challenges it was just like I mean they chose specific photos but for overall yeah. Anyway let's get into it. So it is very packed full. The first thing I see in here is a Doctor Who item. I do not watch Doctor Who. I really don't have any desire to get into it. I just don't think I'd like it. Um, so the first item is a Doctor Who Infinity Scarf. So it has the TARDIS on it. And I do think this looks really cool. And I love Infinity Scarves. But like I said, I'm just not a Doctor Who fan. Um... And I feel like if I wore it, people said, oh, I like your scarf, I'd be like, thanks. <laughs> but I don't really, I don't know, I'm just not in the fandom. It is a really cool scarf, and it's a very nice material. Better than some of my other Infinity scarves that I have. <clears throat> it's like very silky, and I do like it. So I will be wearing that. And I guess I'll just accept the compliments as they come because you know I know a lot of people are in the fandom I'm just not I don't know I can't judge it because I haven't watched it but I also don't think I'd be interested in it okay so this is the book we'll save that for last next thing in here I see is this Caraval candle <clears throat> and I do have Caraval <coughs> I picked it up. It was in my uh, my Christmas, what I got for Christmas. Um, so I haven't started reading it yet. But look at that. It has a little glitter in it. And you can see the scrape marks there. It, it was opened whenever, and it was face down whenever I looked in the box. It was, The lid was off and it was face down. So this is the one that got sort of damaged. But that's okay. Um, it smells like caramel popcorn. And it really does. Exactly like caramel popcorn. It says, remember, it's only a game. Caramel popcorn, spice, and magic. So I still have not read the book, but I do have it, so I'm getting closer. I've been trying to read the Twilight series. Um, I know I'm like way behind the times there, but I've been trying to read that. Once I get that finished, then I'll start on my other books that I need to read. <laughs> okay, next thing I see in here is, ooh, just blinded myself, this book light that looks, I watched, um, Bookable Lectors, uh, Instagram videos. I think that's how you say it, Bookable Lecter. And she said it looks like the uh, the Pixar lamp. And it does. 
It really does. So, I don't know if it's supposed to like face away from the clip. I would rather have it face towards the clip. It doesn't seem to want to stay, but it is very bright. I have already blinded myself with it. So, and it's very cute. And will come in handy when I want to read <coughs> in bed. Next thing I see is this uh, this face mask and it is it says moisture smoothing and on the back it says water op optical moisturized mask so that'll be interesting my skin has been very dry lately oh I haven't been reading you the things okay so for the mask it says relax with a sheet mask and your favorite book unplugged wants you to take care of you take care of you this year and sheet masks are a fun and quick way to give back to you okay. the book light kick back and relax with this adorable book light and this month's YA unplugged book what's more relaxing than lowering the volume of life and getting lost in a book true uh, the candle Carball Candle. Create your own, sorry, it's upside down. Create your own magic and wonder this new year, just like Scarlet from Carval by Stephanie Garber. It's difficult for Scarlet and Tella to ignore the noise of Carval, and their courage is quite inspiring. This candle was made exclusively for this box by Book and Reverie. And then it says use code UNPLUGGED to save 15% off their Etsy shop. So book and reverie. Um, okay, so next, oh, no. The Doctor Who scarf. It says hop in the TARDIS and time travel through the universe with this Doctor Who inspired infinity scarf. Did you know that the TARDIS is dimensionally transcendent, meaning it's bigger on the inside than the outside? It is easy to ignore the noise of the outside world when you're in the TARDIS, just like the Doctor. We want to remind you to go after the things you want most in 2020, whether or not you're traveling in the TARDIS. Well, that's a good message with the scarf. Okay, next thing is the Bluetooth speaker. It's a Bluetooth mini speaker. Lower the volume and turn up the music. This Bluetooth mini speaker is the perfect companion to this month's playlist. There are five different colored speakers. Which do you get? Okay, well, I've just been seeing oh, one of my one of my Carval candles. Uh, things was on the anyway. So this is what it looks like. It has a cool crackle effect. I've only been seeing. Uh, this one I haven't been seeing different colored ones in the unboxings I've watched so I have no idea maybe it like turns a different color when you plug it in like turn it on well it, it, Bluetooth it, note. Huh. so it does turn different colors That's weird. And it comes with this. I was hoping it would have a little port, but I guess if it's a Bluetooth speaker, it doesn't have that. Um, I guess I could connect it. Mm, no, I can't. Never mind. Anyway, so yeah, Bluetooth speaker. Sorry, I'm getting distracted there. Okay, and the last item before the book I see in here. I was really excited to get because I need a new gold glass and I love this book I have not read the second one yet but it's up there and I'm gonna get to it I promise it is this glass that says face of an angel tongue of a snake maybe uh, maybe if I put the TARDIS in there no that's probably still too dark Then it has a skull and a snake on it. There you go. That's better. 
This is from Daughter of a Pirate King. I it's a really it's a really good glass. And I love Daughter of a Pirate King. This says, Ahoy, lower the volume and kick back on a pirate ship with Alonso and this unplugged exclusive glass. Alonso of Daughter of the Pirate King. Uh, by Trisha Levenseller, sorry, got in my head for a second, knew what she wanted. It's easy for her to ignore the noise and focus on her goals. Embrace your inner Alonso while taking care of you and relaxing and hydrate with a hydrating beverage. So yeah, super excited about this glass. Love that it's Daughter of a Pirate King themed. I love it. I'm going to be using it all the time. Okay, so last thing is the book and I love that Unplugged Book Box wraps up their books like this because it really is I just I don't know I just love it like the whole the whole thing is a present but having the book wrapped really makes it seem like I don't know, you know, just unwrapping a present is the best part. This is a strong tape, guys. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Okay, the book that we have this month is Oasis. And it, ha it looks like a D20. You know? Um, anyway, it is The Oasis by Katia de Barcera, but Barcera, sorry. And it has a signed book plate inside. Oh no. My book's a little damaged. Oh, that's neat. So it's white. And then... Interesting. So I know it's probably not supposed to be a... Oh, it says Oasis. I didn't even realize that. It just looked like a bunch of letters, or it looked like a bunch of shapes to me. Interesting. So they spell Oasis out of the D20. It looks like a D20 to me, sorry. So, this book's... This month's book is fun and a twisty read that will leave you questioning what's going to happen until the end. Okay. So, it says, Aleph had ex exciting summer plans, working on her father's archaeology archaeological dig site in the desert with four close friends and a very cute research assistant. Then the sandstorm hit. With their camp wiped away, Aleph and the others find themselves lost on the sands, seemingly doomed until they discover the oasis. It has everything they need, food, water, shade, and mysterious ruins that hide a deadly secret. As reality be begins to shift around them, they question what's real and what's a mirage. The answers turn Aleph and her friends against one another, and they begin to wonder if they've truly been saved. And while it's easy to walk into the oasis, it may be impossible to leave. Katia de Becerra's new supernatural thriller hides, in mis hides a mystery in plain sight and will keep you guessing right up to its terrifying conclusion. Okay, now, when I read that this month's book was going to have uh, like a mystery thriller um, aspect to it. I love that. I love books that are going to keep me guessing the whole time. Like I want a mind-blowing twist when I'm reading books. I want it. So I'm very excited to see if this does it because the way it's making it sound. So... Oh, the tagline is, the Oasis saved them, but who will save them from the Oasis? So, excited to get started reading that. And, um, one thing I did want to bring up. So, I 
no longer have BoxyCharm just because I'm trying to save a little bit of money, <laughs> even though I'm doing two book boxes. Um, I am trying to save a little bit of money, so I do not have the makeup aspect of my channel. If you guys want makeup back into my channel, let me know. Maybe I'll do, like, some get ready with me's or, like, a tutorial of some kind. You guys just got to let me know in the comments below. Also, I have put up a post on my Instagram that is at... Or, yeah, at Kate underscore of all trades. Let me just make sure. Yeah, at Kate underscore of all trades. I will put it in the description box below. If you could go check that out and follow me and like my post for the Fairy Loot Rep Surge, then maybe you'll be getting Fairy Loot unboxings if I am accepted into that. I would really like to be accepted into that because I've been wanting to try Fairy Loot for so long. But I just don't really have the money for it. And I know I say that when I've been buying Owl Crate and un Unplugged book boxes, but whenever I looked into all the book, bo book boxes that I could get, Unplugged was the cheapest. Or no, Owl Crate I think was the cheapest, and then Unplugged came to a close second, but only if I had gotten rid of my boxy charm. So let me know. Please go do that. Yeah, let me know about the makeup videos. Please go follow me on Instagram or at least like my post, like, for the Fairy Loot Rep search. Maybe that will, I don't know. Shameless plug. Sorry, guys. Um, I will see you guys in the next video, though. Thanks. Bye.